Hey, welcome to Northern Pakistan. This is a vlog series sponsored by CPIC Global, so big love to them. They brought us up to Pakistan to show you that, hey, while there might be some negative stories in the media, this country is amazing and quite exciting to travel in. We're in Karimabad right now. Our itinerary is quite packed today. We're going to go see Baltit Fort as well as Atabad Lake. But first, it's time to shop. One of my favorite things. Kind of. from Munza, you can see it has a thin brim and it has a seaming uh, here. So you always have to keep the seam towards your back because they say in old days, uh, I heard this from elderly people that if you buy, even by mistake, if it comes in front, then you are going to fight with someone. So you're not going to fight with someone today. Sometimes when you are tired, you put it like this is called Ahmad Shah Masood style, you know, the slightly backwards. And uh, if it is too much towards the back, then it means you are not in a good mood. What do you think, man? I, I think it's very fascinating <laughs> that just a, one hat can say so much. It's basically, <laughs> your like profile update, right? Like how your your mood, how you feeling? Check my hat. <laughs> After a little fashion show with this man right here, <laughs> we've settled on some hats. I think they're only like three fifty each, which is like four bucks, four uh, Canadian dollars. Yeah, each, so like three U.S. dollars. I think that's a steal. All right, Nushe, what do you have on your head? <laughs> I have the local tribal attire, as I've just been told, and they wear it uh, for special events um, and different occasions here. And it is really beautiful, but it is very heavy, and my head is slightly tired wearing this because it's so heavy on the top. But look at the back; it has a train. <laughs> And this dress is literally just uh, sewn in like every single, these look like, look like coins even, and they're all sewn in the dress. And it's really beautiful, I think. But it looks like medieval chain mail. Yeah, it's like all exactly. metal and seashells. I wouldn't, I wow. don't know the practicality of it like on everyday basis, but people wear it every day, like I, I salute them. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Let me just put my hat on. <laughs> Explain what, yeah. what Anusha explained. So this this right here is a rock that they find in the mountains, and you grind it up, I guess, into a little powder, and then you can put it in milk, um, a very very tiny amount, because too much is not good for your body, and it's probably full of minerals, and it gives you a lot of energy. It's good for your health. Yeah. Is the local Viagra. <laughs> the local local Viagra. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. It's, it's uh, oh. medically it's called as asphaltium. It has That's many uh, uh, miraculous, uh, you know, uh, uh, medicinal. Yeah. It's mainly medicinal, but it's actually a rock. You drink, you you drink a rock. You process it. You know, you you separate other materials from it. Uh -huh. This is it. And right then uh, this is the end product. Wow. Okay. And uh, you take just a tiny grain. You mix it in a glass of uh, milk. Yeah. It's very bitter. You can't swallow it uh, yeah. otherwise. So. Wow. That is one of the craziest things I have ever heard. Okay, continuing our way up to the fort. We were pointed to this ancient mosque that was carved from wood for some private family. That's cool and all. But then we noticed down over here, in the ditch, <laughs> this is there's something very interesting happening with the water. Oh, it's like magic water. And the mud is looking like it's it's full of these really shiny minerals like the iridescent kind of yeah like there's like a lot of quartz in the rock or something but i've never seen water naturally do this before. 
No, me neither. It almost looks like smoke. Like thick smoke. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Where are you going? Um, going to home. Going to home? Yes. Yeah. Well, you live in a very beautiful home. <laughs> well, enjoy, enjoy the walk back. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Lexi's struggling. It has been, it has been quite a hike. Dying. It's from the bottom. But hey, no, we're we here. Baltet Fort Hunza, and the mountains are pretty nice. And here we go. Secrecy planning hall. I'm not even joking. That's what this room is used for. <laughs> Actually, there's a couple cool interesting things in here. So there's Tibetan carved pillars and trimming along the walls. And he was pointing out some interesting things about these carpets. He was saying that, uh, the guy was saying, this is 100 years old. And he also said it was dyed. And it made me realize something that just recently we can go and we can purchase any color we wanted, but just a hundred years ago you had to go create dyes. You couldn't just go buy something red. For example, this pigment here, this red pigment, is actually crushed beetle shells. And it was only found in Europe. So here we are in Pakistan, and they had to be able to get that red pigment from the crushed beetle shells. There's blue here as well. The blue is from India, from indigo, another color. And to have carpets like this, you had to be rich because a lot of work goes into making something like this. All handmade, dyed with various substances from different parts of the world. Pretty wild thing to think about, right? We came up the stairs here, and this is the reception room, the meeting room, the mud room we call it in Canada, the place where you come first before going off into any of the other rooms. It's an amazing fort though. He was saying it was just renovated recently, but it's almost 900 years old. You walk in these places, you can almost feel the history. The royal kitchen is right here. Some of these things are beautiful. I don't know how practical they'd be these days, but... You were saying that these old pots were made of kind of soft stone, almost like a clay, and they retain a lot of heat. So if you want to cook something for a long time, like a stew, kind of like cast iron would be very useful. This here, I'm gonna guess what this is. It's an ancient mouse trap. <laughs> Pretty wild, right? Okay, we lost the group. I think they're upstairs. Ooh, okay. Wow. <sighs> Should have drone from here. something that I just learned. There are 142 peaks in Pakistan that are over 7,000 meters. That's like 22,000 feet. There's 142 of them in this country, making it the country that has the highest amount of highest mountains, if you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the reason for that is because India used to be an island, and what caused the Karakorum mountain range, as well as Himalayas, and the third one, I forget the name, <laughs> is it's smashing. Two continental plates smashing together as India ruptured into the side of Central Asia. That's why here in Pakistan, one of the highest mountains in the world and a lot of earthquakes. Ow, that's the fort. Now, lunchtime. Can I, do you mind showing me? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> How long? How many years? Twenty-two. 
22 years. So in 22 years, maybe 20, maybe 21 and a half years, I can take my mustache and wrap it multiple times around my ears. <laughs> but I missed it. Actually, I was flying the drone earlier and I missed the... Uh, you missed the whole interaction so with him. You learned something about it? What was it about the military paying to paying him to grow his beard that long? You know, um, there is a, a word, there is a terminology called RP. RP is in military uh, who usually take care of the entrances into military installations. Uh -huh. They have beards like uh, beards and mustaches uh -huh. like him, and and for that they get a special allowance. A special allowance. Yeah. That was that's what it was. <laughs> so they get paid to grow their mustaches out that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we are at Cafe, Cafe de Hunza. We were told that there is one special thing you have to try when you're here. It is a walnut cake. So, the famous walnut cake. We have Lexi up first. The dessert That's master. Cakes. <laughs> here. It's amazing. It's very crunchy. Is it? Mm. Wow. Mm. It's a lot of walnuts. <laughs> Ready? All at once, like sushi. First impressions? Oh, wow. As far as taste goes, it just kind of tastes like honey. There's not much to it. The walnuts are a little bit mm, cooked, like they're not as crunchy as you think. Honestly, this tastes like you are eating walnuts. I'll give it like an 8 out of 10. Okay, that's a bad leg. Wow. That's a wrap for another day exploring Pakistan. If this is your first vlog you've seen on the channel, there's a playlist on the top to catch up. My name is Mike, if you're listening far, you can subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this one. There's another great one coming up next. Experience our possessions. I'll catch you in the next travel vlog. Peace. Show us the floss. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs>